A job is modern slavery. You don't need it. One day when I was 13 years old, I stood alone in my high school football pitch and asked myself, why is everyone teaching me how to be an employee? I was only 13, yet it became very clear to me that the world around me was designed for a single thing and that's to teach everyone to serve the rich as an employee. I started my first business at age 15 and I loved it. To me, creating things and selling them is just fun and this increased my anger in a few years to follow. Yes, it was not easy for me to build a business from scratch, especially because I was born by poor parents. But if I had my life again, I would rather suffer a decade to create the kind of life I have today than to work all my life to make someone else rich. I think a job is the modern slave trade and I'll explain that in this video. I'll also try to challenge and inspire you to create your own desired life, no matter how difficult it is. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. You see, I grew up as a young man who loves himself so much. Maybe I'm selfish or arrogant, I can't tell. But one thing I know for sure about myself is that I love freedom. I love to wake up when I like to, do what I love to, when I like to, with the people I like to. When I discovered that modern lifestyles forbid this kind of freedom, I knew that I would need to fight for what I believe I deserved. For 8 years, I was a nobody because I was struggling to build a business. However, when I had my first breakthrough in business, I moved from the bottom to the topmost. For many years now, I never have any reason to wake up with alarm because of a job. I never had to wear any particular clothes. I never had to work with those I don't respect. More importantly, I write my own checks. To me, it's heaven on earth to be living the way I am. But whenever I meet with my friends who are employees, I hear how they complain about everything. The job they hate, the employer they hate, the office politics, the low pay jobs and others. Now, this is what I have to tell you. None of these should be yours for 35 years. Listen to me, you have the power to change your life if you truly want to do it. Accepting the slavery as a norm Most people who ought to create their own desired lives don't get the inspiration to do it because they have accepted the kind of life they are living as a norm. This is as a result of the psychologist called social proof. Now, social proof basically means that wherever a lot of people are doing something, we have the tendency to join them. Not only join them but think that it's normal and good. This is what happens in our society today. If today you are 17, since every one of your friends will be dreaming of going to Harvard, your own dream will be centered around the university and degrees too. Since that's what everyone you know is doing, that must be the normal thing to do, right? The same thing with jobs. According to the Gallup poll, 85% of employees all over the world hate their jobs and all these billions of people still wake up to run to that same office they hate without taking any actions to change their situations. Are these people fools? No, most of them are smart and intelligent people. But you see, it makes sense to have a job since everyone does have one. That's the reason why people preach to themselves and accept their situations as normal. You have to do the opposite. You don't have to accept what you hate. You are a human being. You have the power inside of you to change anything and I mean anything you hate. But to change something in your life, you must see it as abominable. History of Slavery In the era of our forefathers, if you are rich, you can have as many slaves as you wanted. You'll buy them and use them to farm. At a point in history, we abolished the slave trade because we thought that it's not good for a human being to become the tool for another human. Now we can let people be free, let them live their lives, have their kids and build their own houses. But we still technically own them. We still tell them what to do, how to do it, when to resume at work, when to close and all of that. We don't call it slavery but we determine the clothes they must wear. It's not slavery but they can't stay back at home anytime they want. 
are entrepreneurs evil? Well, I don't blame entrepreneurs for this evil. You see, I'm an entrepreneur myself. I run businesses and employ people. I do honestly think that some people love their jobs and this video isn't for those people. I also unfortunately believe that the world can only go on smoothly if some people are kings while others are servants. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're an employee and you are among the 15% who truly loves their jobs, you don't need to look elsewhere. You've found your path and as long as that path pays your bills, you'll be a happy person. However, if Monday is your worst day, if you wake up each working day and hiss, if you wish you could have another life that's free from the burden of a job, then I have some words for you. You see, we all have to live just once. Because we won't have a repeat of this single life, we have to fight hard to create the kind of life we love. I tell you, you can't do it. Maybe you are in debt, maybe you think you are old, maybe you think you are black or you think you are a woman. I was a sickly boy but while growing up, I discovered that the world always bows for whoever is crazy enough to fight for what he wants. If you fight, the world will give way for you to pass. Remember, we are in the 21st century. I'm sorry but I have to remind you that we are no longer in 1983. I need to remind you because most people don't know. You see, our fathers lived in a much closed world. Many of them did one single job for 40 years. Many of them never saw a mobile phone, not to talk of the internet. Today, even 15 years old kids are creating wealth via the internet. No matter how busy you are, you can always have an hour in a day to learn and practice skills that may be sellable online. You can share your existing experience to help others and you'll be paid for it. For instance, I'm an entrepreneur who builds and run my own business but I also teach people how to do what I'm doing. You don't know how much I make from teaching people how to do what I'm doing. <laughs> you don't know. But you may also have a valuable experience others are willing to learn from. You may have an existing business which the internet can help you market. I don't know who you are, what your strengths are and what you can do but I challenge you to look inwards and figure out how to create the life you love. Another big mistake many people make is to expect this journey to be easy. <laughs> Far from it. It's tough. It's hard. It's hell. But it leads to heaven if you can fight hard for the freedom you deserve. You have a single life. Don't leave it doing what you hate. You can change your life if you are willing to fight with your last blood. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.